education is often an important factor in determining the health of local economies. For better or worse, higher education still plays a big role in American life. While some might just see a degree as a status symbol, the truth is that certain degrees can have a real and positive impact on an individual's earning potential, and the education level of the population as a whole can affect the entire country's economic stability. In 2023, WalletHub did a study of the least educated cities in the United States. They studied the top 150 metropolitan areas in the U.S. by population size, and then looked at the degree types of the people aged 25 and older and gave them scores accordingly. So in today's video, we will be show you 10 most least educated cities in America. But before starting the video, I want to request you, we put our best efforts to create our every single video. So please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. Number 10, Beaumont, Texas. Beaumont was home to the largest and most important oil boom in U.S. history. The total population of this city is around 115,282, according to 2020 as census. Beaumont is bringing in the bottom 10 out of 150. They scored the lowest in percentage of bachelor's degrees and percentage of graduate or professional degrees. This means that there are only a few people in this city with higher than a high school education. They did receive extra credit, however, for having a large gender education gap that favors women. This means that the majority of women in Beaumont have gotten a higher education than the majority of men in this city. But if you see the city, it is very beautiful city in the middle of the Texas. Number 9. Salinas, California Salinas is known as the salad bowl of the world for its large, vibrant agriculture industry. It was the hometown of writer and Nobel laureate John Steinbeck, who set many of his stories in the Salinas Valley in Monterey. But Salinas ranked in one of bottom five of the lowest percentages of high school diplomas in its city population. There are only two high schools in the area with its population of over 100 and 50,000 residents. It's a dramatic shift from its neighbor to the North San Francisco, which is one of the most educated cities in the U.S. Here in Salinas, 30.77% have gone without a high school diploma, only 21.93% have a high school diploma, 24.97% have some college, and 22.33% have a bachelor's degree. Number 8. Ocala Florida. Ocala, Florida, is located north of Lakeland and very least educated city in Florida. It's actually a vast area in central Florida, with 64,000 people living in its city limits, and an even larger metro area with 350,000 residents. Ocala isn't known for many good things, and it looks like education isn't one of those good things. In 2021, Universities in Ocala Awarded 7,534 degrees The student population of Ocala in 2021 is skewed towards women, with 6,596 male students and 21,926 female students. The median tuition cost in Ocala, Florida for a public four-year colleges is $1,987 for in-state students and $7,947 for out-of-state students. But even after that, the education in Ocala is a big problem. Number 7. Stockton, California Here is another California city with the most least educated population in the country. Although California has two of the most educated cities in the United States, it also has six of the least educated cities in the United States. Stockton, like Salinas, is also located near San Francisco. Stockton is just south of California's capital of Sacramento and east of San Francisco. It didn't rank for anything in particular, but it is definitely shocking that some of the most and least educated cities in the U.S. are so close together. 
when Congress approved $190 billion to combat the educational devastation wrought by the pandemic. The Stockton, California, school system was practically the poster child for a district in need. But in recent reports Stockton is improving his school and collage education. Number 6. Hickory, North Carolina Hickory, North Carolina, is more of a smaller town metro area. It is located pretty far west of Durham and Raleigh, two of the most educated cities in the United States that are also in North Carolina. Poor Hickory is ranked 145 out of the 150 metro areas. Hickory just barely made it out of the bottom five. There really isn't anything else significant to say about it, as it didn't rank in the bottom five of any particular category, but given its placement overall, most of the people in the city must not have many degrees. Hickory is a city in North Carolina primarily located in Catawba County. It is the 24th most populous city in North Carolina. There is many factors that tells. Hickory is not good place for educated people. Number 5. Modesto, California Modesto is the county seat and largest city of Stanislaus County, California, with a population of 218,464 at the 2020 census. It is the 19th largest city in the state of California. But we have made it to the bottom five, all of which are either in California or Texas. Modesto, California, ranked specifically in the lower five of lowest percentage of bachelor's degrees and in the lowest percentage of professional or graduate degrees. However, this city did receive extra credit from Wallet Hub since it has the largest racial education gap that favors black people in the United States. However, given its other placements, it doesn't look like it makes up for its lack of quality education or educated people. Number 4. Bakersfield, California Bakersfield was the worst city in the U.S. for its overall reading culture. The city was among the worst in the nation for access to bookstores, as well as subscriptions to magazines and scholarly journals. There were just two magazines with at least 2,500 subscriptions in the city, in 2013, and no journal publications at all. There was just one independent bookstore in the city last year, and just 30 retail book outlets for the city's more than 350,000 residents. The city's library system was also poor rated, with low circulation rates and understaffing. Low demand for reading materials could reflect low educational attainment rates. Just 77% of adults had a high school diploma in 2012, among the worst nationally. Number 3. McAllen, Texas From its settlement in 1904, the area around McAllen was largely rural and agricultural in character. Some experts also said that it is a reason for McAllen is least educated in the country because many people here focusing on the agriculture or direct job. There are no craze for studies the city located on the border with Mexico. It is ranked as the lowest percentage of high school diplomas in its population in the country, and it also has the lowest percentage of associate's degrees or college experience, which tied with Brownsville. Out of 150, it's ranked on the bottom at 148. Many people cross the border into the United States for a better chance for education and employment and that is available in McAllen, but it definitely isn't the best that the United States has to offer. Number 2. Brownsville, Texas Brownsville was a prominent player in the Civil War, earning the title Back Door to the Confederacy, by virtue of the fact that trade goods especially cotton could be taken to Mexico and shipped out, avoiding the Union blockade of Confederate ports. But if you talk about education, they were ranked the lowest in the categories of the percentage of associate's degrees or college experience and the lowest university quality in the United States. They also ranked in the bottom five for lowest percentage of high school diplomas, bachelor's degrees, and professional or graduate degrees. Don't mess with Texas must mean with their education. Number 1. Visalia, California 
The least educated city in the United States as of 2022 is the Visalia. They rank dead last overall of the 150 metro areas studied and also ranked last for the lowest percentage of bachelor's degrees and professional or graduate degrees. They also were in the bottom five for lowest percentage of high school diplomas and of associate's degrees or college experience. They also have a large racial education gap that favors black people, meaning the black population in Visalia is more educated than the white population in Visalia, which gave them extra credit points in the Wallet Hub scoring system. But it didn't make up for the lack of overall education in Visalia. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.